What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So if this is your first time watching, my name is Sheridan. In today's video, I am going to be doing a chatty, chill, get ready with me. So if you want to talk and watch me go from zero to this, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I did my brows. As you can see, I'm breaking out supposed to be graduating and living my best life okay i don't have time for this additionally you will also notice i just did colored my roots so i have hair color on my edges <laughs> don't come for me also i already moisturized and primed my face so since this is chatty and casual i will not be telling you what i'm doing i will list products i use on my face in the description box so if you guys do have any questions or you're feeling this look, you can check it out. I have honestly just been in the weirdest space lately. I've been really emotional, which part of that is because it's almost my time of the month, but I think this life change and kind of like life milestone going on with graduating in T minus five days, you know, it's kind of like getting to me, I guess. I don't know. I was thinking about it and I feel like when I was in high school graduating high school i was very emotional too around that time so maybe that's just what's going on i don't really know needless to say i'm so happy i have my therapist she's amazing your girl needs to start chugging water because i need my face to stop breaking out and start behaving thank you so much so um i got this foundation shade a little bit darker because i plan on self tanning later this week and then this will match my actual body so let's talk about how it definitely snowed last night and it's literally almost may michigan not your biggest fan right now get it together please I've honestly just been feeling super overwhelmed with the end of the semester and finishing classes in school i feel like it's really thrown me off for sure my filming schedule like i know you guys know i haven't been posting as much i'm really optimistic that once i get past this and graduate that I will have so much more time and energy to be filming and creating content because I have all these ideas in my head and I just need the time and energy to like get them out you know as far as like what I'm gonna be doing when I graduate so um, I, everyone has been asking me and I've kind of like been dreading answering this I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing and I learned unfortunately like the end of my sophomore year going into my junior year that I, I really love journalism I love the art of it I think it's beautiful to be able to and powerful to be able to take someone's story and tell it and kind of spread that into the world at the same time in today's political climate like I just don't really feel I have the ability to be objective which is something that is like essential for a great journalist I think like as a woman as a feminist as an activist for human and civil rights it's really hard for me to just let all those things go and just not say anything and in large part we were taught in MSU's J school is that like your social media have a pivotal role in your presence as a journalist. By the way, if you didn't know, my degree is in journalism. <laughs> I realize that I just don't think I'm able to do that. So working, 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 and just figuring out what I want to do. I have to find a new place to live. Um, my lease is up on my apartment. So I'm in the process of finding, you know, a way to financially support myself, basically a new job. Where I'm working now, I love it, but I don't think they're able to hire me full time, which is what I'm obviously going to be needing. I have a few places in mind that I've applied to. I'm like in the process. So yeah, I'm in a place I've never been before in life, obviously with graduating. I think one thing that people kind of forget I mean you know if you're in college but if you're not university going to school if you're taking 12 to 18 credit not only just going to class but in studying doing homework doing projects doing assignments not only that like I also work part-time it's been really hard to like make time to be filming I know I have tried to stay at least a little consistent for you guys probably the thing that is making me most excited about graduating. I just can't wait to have more time to pour myself into my content and enjoy it, you know? We are baking, yes, we are baking. Moving on to eyeballs. As I'm filming this video, I am going into finals week. 
do have a few finals I need to do. I have some final papers, some final projects to finish up. I have one meeting this week for class. I still got some projects, you know, to bust out and some papers and stuff. I will be graduating on Friday, so walking. I'm so excited I get to walk with Justine, one of my best friends. So it's exciting. It's an exciting time. I think like I haven't fully accepted it yet or like processed it, I guess. Like it just doesn't seem very real and I haven't really taken the time to like sit down and think about like what that means to me. Definitely don't feel like I've taken the time to like reflect and be like proud of myself, I guess. Yeah, I just wanted to like sit down and chat with you guys, play with makeup. I haven't like had time to really actually play with makeup because I've been having class and working so I feel like if I have been getting ready I've just honestly been like rushing around oh so yeah so my bosses they were so nice they said no you're not coming into work this week um because I was like wanting to pick up extra hours given that I don't have like cl regular class sessions they said no you need to take this time and like reflect prepare for your graduation just take the time for you and I really needed this, so I'm excited. So I'll probably be filming a lot this week for you guys. I'm like sweating so much right now. Honestly, I'm so glad you guys can't see because it's like, girl. I am running errands for the rest of the day. It's really nice out, so I want to take Kalani to the park. Maybe we'll just go on a walk. I don't know. I haven't like decided yet. This is cute. Now I'm trying to decide if I even want to do a liner. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try something really soft, so I'll see how this goes. I'm gonna be running errands, I'm gonna go pick up some things to decorate my graduation cap, and I need to just find like a cute little dress. I feel like I could probably wear something in my closet, but I figured I'd just go shopping and look, you know. So pretty, guys. Really, I don't normally curl my eyelashes, but... I am going to be wearing kind of like a smaller baby pair of lashes today, so we'll just give them all the help they can get. Oh, I'm looking at my eyelash curler right now and realizing how disgusting it is because it's literally so dirty. Okay, I'm not even going to lie, guys. I tried this NARS Climax mascara, and I'm actually like addicted to it. I thought like, like I loved it when I first started using it, and then I was like, oh, like it's probably just the same. I don't need to be spending a lot of money on mascara. So I just went back and bought my regular CoverGirl, and like it does not compare, you guys. So I'm still using this baby little tube. I need to run to Sephora. I have so much stuff. I feel like I run out of everything at the same time. Does this ha Comment below if this happens to you. If you run out of like so many products at once. For me, it's especially like skincare products I'm just running out of everything i remember like before i was even into false lashes and poor false lashes were like really big in the makeup industry in high school i would just coat on mascara i would curl my lashes every day and i would coat on the most mascara i even did this like fiber lash mascara that i was like obsessed with now I feel like I just can't live without falsies. Guys, I'm gonna go pop on some falsies, probably dust off my bake, and I'll be right back. Just on, feeling cute, gonna bronze it up. It's actually weird. Um, I really hope I am able to just find a dress really quickly. Because normally I'm a huge shopper, I love shopping, but I'm just like not in the mood for it today. I started a new show on Netflix and I watched it in like two days. It's called Bonding. It is about a girl who's a dominatrix in grad school to like, that's what she does. If you're into kink and you're like familiar with the kink community, I feel like you'll really like it. Like I thought it was shot really well, but if you aren't really as familiar with kink, you might be a little confused and like not understand some of the stuff or like the jokes. Guys, I love makeup so much. I'm feeling so like pretty and confident, a little more sassy. Ugh, you know what else I forgot I have to do is I have some clothes I need to sell to Plato's Closet and if they don't buy them then donate them. Oh, this week is gonna be a busy one, but it's good, it's a good one. I'm feeling really centered today. I feel so cute! <laughs> this has been so fun, I really love makeup so much and I love chatting with you guys. A little lipstick. I feel like with the Huda formulas, they're kind of like thinner and more liquidy, so you have to let them really sit and like dry. Alrighty, topping it off. We put some earrings on and brush my hair. Here's the final look, guys. 
Okay, so that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Just press the button. You can also turn on notifications by hitting that notification bell. Then that way you're always informed whenever I post a new video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!